Hey everybody, what's up? It is Dom here, back once again. This time I'm going to show you guys how to get Reshade to work for practically any game uh, that is compatible with it. First off, here we're going to take you to the Reshade.me website. You're going to hit download and I'll have a drop down here to the latest build of Reshade. Once you save the file there, you'll have a nice little executable file called Reshade underscore setup underscore dot 4.9.1. We're going to double left click it there and have a pop up here to select our game or application. It'll actually go through and start listing off all the .exe files that you have there on your computer. But say for instance we want to get to the exact one quicker, we can just right click here on Steam, go to manage, browse the local file here. Hit control C to copy, go back here, hit browse, and we're going to paste. We're going to use our Fallout 4 here as an example. It'll ask for which rendering API that I'll use. If you're not sure, you can uh, always Google it or you can find it on the Reshade compatibility list if it's not already listed here, like with the Direct 3D 10, 11, 12. You're going to want to uncheck everything and check it all there. Hit OK and wait for this to go through. Here we can see the Reshade has successfully installed. We can go to edit the Reshade settings. We can check any of the tasks there that is created. We can even skip the tutorial, show clock, show FPS there if we want. I'm going to hit X here and we're going to boot up our Fallout 4. A key part of the install is at the very top of your game. You're going to see where it says Reshade is now installed successfully. Press home to start the tutorial. Now that we're in the game, we're going to hit the home key here. I have a little tutorial telling you a bit how to go through and use Reshade here. For this instance, we'll just go through and skip through it. Now I'll show you guys two presets here that I usually use for my videos. One is like a borderland style cell shading, and the other one's a little bit more to buff up the quality of some of the edges and um, give it more of a darker feel sometimes, but you can boost the brightness there, uh, give some contrast there. So let's go through and look at the first one here. First off, I also do recommend that you guys go to your settings and you put page up as the toggle key and the effect reload for page down. Makes it a lot easier there to see the difference in the two whenever you want to show off, especially um, to your friends or in a video here. So the first one for here, for Borderlands, I'm just using the cartoon.fx. You can tweak it a bit if you want to give it some more power to it, but I try not to get too crazy with it uh, there. If you guys have any tips also to make it look better in self-shading, uh, definitely leave them down below. But let's take a look at the uh, second preset here that you usually catch in most of my videos. Here's the second bit of settings here that I mess with. Uh, keep in mind that when I go into a later video, we will talk about the RTGI for the ray tracing there and how it can help you guys to get an even smoother look there if you guys prefer that. So here's all the settings there. I have not messed with any of the um, default stuff here. And here it is turned on. There we go. There we go, everybody. If you guys have any presets that you guys like to show off here and down in the comment section below, uh, that would definitely be appreciated for everyone there. Keep it safe, everyone. Until next time, peace out.